Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my video tutorials. Now, over the past few weeks I've been running into a lot of posts inside Facebook groups talking about how people have visited a website and come back to Facebook and all of a sudden Facebook are showing adverts relating to the website that they've just visited. Um, kind of in a stalkish sort of manner and if you are wondering, yes, Facebook does track your movements while you're logged into Facebook, both on their site and off their site. So so long as you're logged in, you are being watched, you are being tracked, and you are being profiled. So with that out of the way, let's get on and talk about how you can use the same strategy absolutely free to retarget people that have visited your website and you basically want to get them back. So let's jump in there let's get started. Today I'm going to be looking at a few different types of website tracking solutions that you can use with Facebook ads. Um, the first one is just a general website visit. So basically anybody that visits any page on your website will end up on a, on a list that I can then target with Facebook ads. Uh, the second one, I'm going to look at managing abandoned carts a little bit better. It's not 100% foolproof, but it, it is a lot better than, than not doing anything at all. And lastly, I'm going to look at your buyers list. So creating a buyers list from your website so people that have already purchased from your website that you can then go on to target knowing that, hey, they've already purchased, they're already a customer, you've already convinced them, you've already done the hard work up front, and now it's time to get some repeat business out of them. So let's jump in there with the first one. Now, if you've been wondering what you've been looking at, this is basically the audience manager for Facebook ads. And what this does is it lets you create specific lists that you can then target with Facebook ads. And we're going to go through and create a few lists um, that we'll be using on our website. And the first thing we want to do is create a custom audience using the website traffic from our website. And the first one we want to do is anyone who visits our website. And as far as days are concerned, it really does depend on the type of promotion that you're going to use. If you're going to do something like, hey, I just noticed that you saw my website or you visited my website, here's a blah, blah, blah then you're probably going to make this kind of one or two days because you want that short-term, quick turnaround of people that have just visited your website and you want to quickly pull them back. Um, otherwise, just go ahead and set it for the default 180 days, um, which is the longest that you can add. And I'm just going to call this W2M Web Visitors. And I'm going to create that audience. And I'm going to say OK. Uh, don't worry about this, that, that, that will say whatever it says um, at this stage. The next type of audience that we're going to create is another custom audience. And we're going to base this one on abandoned carts or abandoned checkouts. Now, this isn't 100% foolproof because it does require people to actually view the cart page or view the checkout page. And a lot of times with websites today, when you add a product to your cart, it doesn't always take you through to visit that page. So it isn't 100% foolproof, but it's good enough that a lot of people do visit the cart and a lot of people do visit the checkout and then leave your website. So this is a list to target those specific people. So people that have visited those pages but have not yet made a purchase. And to do this, we're going to use an audience called people who visit specific pages but not others. So basically, we're going to say anyone that visits the cart page or the checkout page, but doesn't visit the order received page, obviously didn't go through with the purchase for whatever reason. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go forward slash cart, so anybody that visits the cart, and forward slash checkout, or anybody that visits the checkout, but does not visit the order received page of your website for the last, we'll just go with 180 days. And I'm going to call this W2M Abandoned Checkout. And I'm going to create that audience as well. And click OK. The last audience we're going to create is your buyer's audience. So same thing again. With custom audience, we're going to use a website traffic. And we're going to target anyone who visits a specific web pages. And the web page we want, obviously, is the order receive page. So basically, if somebody's viewed your order receive page, you know that they've made a purchase and they're now a customer. And once again, we're just going to go with 180 days. 
and I'm going to call this W2M Web Customers. And go ahead and create that audience. So now what we have is we have three audiences. You have people that have visited your website, people that have abandoned the checkout, and people that have or abandoned the cart and people that have purchased the product for you. So we can now track, well not yet, but soon once we add a little bit of code to the website, our website will be able to track and list and target these types of people with our ads. So but basically what we have ready now is we've got our list ready to start to build and what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and throw some little bits of code inside our website on every page. Now, for WordPress users, this is nice and easy. I have a personal W2M admin plugin, which you can use, upload, install, and I'll walk you through how to do that using that plugin. For people using other types of platforms, have a chat to your web developer or have a chat to your platform provider and just to ask them how you would go about adding code to every page inside the head section, and they should be able to give you some insight on how you can add the specific little bits of code to your own website that's not WordPress. Um, for WordPress users, let's go ahead and have a look at how this can be done. Um, first thing you want to do, of course, is download my W2 Admin plugin, install that, and activate that, and it will give you a little tab down the side that will open up this page here. Now, basically, what we want to do is we want to go and get what's called pixel codes from each of these lists that we've created. So the first one is this one here. And we're just going to go and copy all of that. And we're just going to paste this in here. Um, and I'm just going to do this for basically all of these lists. Um, so that one, that one. I actually do think there's a quick way of doing this, but this way just works. Um, and we want that one, and we want this one. Like so. Then if we go ahead and save those settings, like so, and I'm just going to double check that my little plugin's doing what it should be and making sure that the code is actually being inserted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here and as you can see um, all those little bits of uh, pixels have been added into basically every page on my website just using this little WordPress plugin. Like I said guys you can do this on any platform it will just be a matter of going back to web de your web dev or your platform provider and saying hey can I how can I add custom head code to every page on my website and basically once you've done that that's really all you need to get started from here generally what you do is you would come back and you'd say hey look you know I want to create an ad that targets my customers and I'll go up here and I'll create an ad. Um, <clears throat> this button's not showing up and that's purely because it hasn't collected enough data um, based on these requirements. But if I did something like um, this option here, which is ready, uh, the create ad option will come up. So basically just tick the list of audiences that you want to target and create an ad for it in the same way you normally would create Facebook ads. And that's pretty much a wrap, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll leave some helpful links in the footer or the description of this video. And I look forward to teaching you some more stuff down the road.